Uh, okay, so now uh, uh, it started, so I'll, uh, we have about one minute to go, so I'm going to, well, to one minute, I don't think there's much of things to talk about for the, for, uh, during one minute, so we'll just uh, uh, start right away. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so. Hi everyone. Uh, I'm Min, and uh, this is uh, this program is provided by uh, Vancouver Daily Newspaper, Korean Daily Newspaper, and myself, Wapandert. That's my company. And then this is a, a series of the uh, uh, the uh, lecture series of the study method that can change your life. Right. So. The well, the ones that uh, I'm talking about here as uh, uh, study methods is probably well, yeah, unless you are familiar with uh, uh, any of my lecture material that I provided before, uh, this might be the uh, very new. And uh, today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about differences in between knowledge. So knowledge and concepts, these two are very different, okay? And then uh, you will have to uh, separate and see that which uh, the how what kind of a study you are doing. If it is uh, building knowledge or just a, a concept, building concepts, okay? So some of you probably wonder if uh, you are a student or if you have been in a, a school before and you saw that some students are doing very well in terms of the uh, uh, school uh, study right and some of them uh, like me as uh, kind of like a struggling in to study when try to memorize things and then uh, and then try to really to well kind of like a remember what you learned and then try to digest from the what you learned from the uh, class but the thing is that even if you tried and tried sometimes it's very difficult to even try I know yeah and sometimes uh, you wanted to study but uh, if you wanted to sit in sit in the desk and then uh, you wanted to go through some of the study material but still you are not going to be you were not able to focus and these things happens now what I uh, did and then some students and some of the uh, students are doing uh, uh, getting the uh, higher grade and then they always stay on top and well they sometimes miss but uh, most of the time they uh, stay in the uh, top level then where the difference is coming from you have to think about it in this way. So last week, until the first two uh, the uh, the streams were, I showed you the differences of the uh, thinking uh, processes and then uh, how the thinking process is uh, moving towards two, and then how the uh, how you can the differences in the generally that mostly about the uh, geniuses and their average people now i'm going to go down uh, specifically to the uh, basic level where the actually why some students are having higher grade and some students uh, are struggling in the school so this might be the one that the, you really if you are a student then you really wanted to really focus on okay uh, uh, some of the uh, students have exceptionally uh, exceptional uh, memory so memory uh, plays uh, one of the key part yes this is one of the part so uh, some students 
some of the uh, the people they have like a memory capacity increased than other than other people so this is uh, uh, from my viewpoint it is genetic okay so the basically from uh, let's say if one person is a athletic and then built a lot of muscle then next generation of the person will have a higher chance to have uh, that strong uh, the uh, muscle uh, the strong uh, to have the similar characteristic in physical for example if uh, parents are tall then the kids uh, next generation have tendency to be tall and my I'm not that tall so my uh, the generally that the uh, expectation is that my next generation my son is not gonna be like a tall like a going over like about uh, very like a uh, basketball player like tall right so there's a tendency of the physical characteristic and people don't really realize that the uh, uh, the brain is to also take uh, the kind of like inherited from parents as well the genes for the brains that that's every the same for the uh, interior physical characteristic so basically what that means is that the brain function is also some some part okay so i'm not saying entirely and then there's a mutation so you could be dif uh, have differences so some part some uh level that the, you are inheriting some of the uh, uh characteristic of the brain as well that's why sometimes you behave like your parents and sometimes you are uh the kind of like a the approaches in uh, are in the similar way talking what well, talking is the brain work you have to start thinking and then uh, express and then the way of the your uh, talking is also they coming similar to your parents and this is where the brain uh, inherit the uh, parents the characteristic and then you are holding it sometime uh, some level and then since the, uh, the any one of the person in the in human is a mixture of two genes that means uh, mother and father genes so there's a mutations and there's a diff differences coming in but still you are in uh, taking over some of the uh, similarity from your father and mother so yes uh, that's what i'm saying right you probably wonder that oh okay that means that the uh, if i cannot remember much then is that because of uh, 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 my genetics well, in terms of the DNA, yes. And of course, you have some mutations inside of your brain, I mean, inside of your uh, DNA. So it's not 100% same or like, a, 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 and depending on the uh, mutations and the, uh, in, uh, in the brain, that uh, genes that for the brain, that you could resemble to your parent. But that doesn't mean that you cannot study right so some born with it so some students have exceptional memory some students have a little bit more different brain function they they actually have thinking skills i'm going to talk about uh, that in a second so if some students have exceptional memory they will memorize easily and then they when it comes to the knowledge checking uh, exams or test quiz they will be able to perform better because they can remember more with the same amount of the time and then with the same amount of the uh, effort they will, their memory capa because their memory capacity is higher they can remember more for this one uh, you can uh, use one of the uh, uh, skills I can I can provide the, how you can increase your memory but in the later uh, uh, when once I started talking about it okay so those students but problem is that even if you memorize more the problem is that in these days all the exams or education system is try to move away from the knowledge delivering uh, education that means exams if you get the exact same uh, knowledge that is checking on the uh, coming into the exam then you could check and then you could get the right but problem is when they change it 
when they force you to use the, the uh, uh, to find the, the logically make uh, some of the logically uh, kind of like uh, uh, extract the uh, uh, information and then provide the answers like uh, in mathematics like uh, you have uh, some uh, expressions descriptions and saying that if uh, the tower that you see is in certain angle from your point and then distance is something then how uh, can you figure out the height or something like that those you need to uh, use some of the uh, brain function and then memory itself doesn't provide it okay you cannot really uh, solve those issues with the uh, uh, by memorizing it well if you memorize the uh, uh, even with the uh, 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 formula then still what you need to do is you need to uh, uh, learn how to change it so that's different from the memory so if you have an exceptional memory, then yep, if it is knowledge checking uh, exams and everything is just coming from uh, exactly the same material that the, you uh, remember, then that has an advantage. So this one is like a, a quite a long time ago when I was young, when I was uh, like uh, in the uh, middle school and high school and everywhere, pretty much all the exams were checking on the memory. So knowledge how do you remember it? if this is correct or not and then if you remember that what the uh, the teacher provide the knowledge the teacher provided because teacher are teachers are the one that uh, checking the knowledge with the exams right but as the uh, human society I mean uh, humanity kind of uh, uh, the evolves from gradually now every everybody realized that well, checking just a simple knowledge is not the real uh, way to measure the uh, brain function so in this is what they try to do they try to move away from the knowledge and they try to see if you can utilize so basically what that means is that if they modify some of the uh, uh, knowledge and then to see if you can figure out something like as I said as mathematics right or physics or some biology or something provide some data and then ask you to figure out what this means and then uh, tr uh, explain and then try to grab the uh, uh, concept of it that's different from the uh, simple memory so uh, because of that the simply having higher better capacity and a better function in the memory doesn't really work for the uh, uh, education system now then in these days who could be performing better in terms of uh, the school study school study right then this is one of the part comes in from separating from the knowledge from concepts okay if you just simply know something that's something knowledge and then you can repeat right so for example if uh, someone says that uh, shows you that uh, in the, with the apple saying that oh this is the apple is a fruit and then this is uh, uh, coming from uh, rose family trees okay trees that uh, belong to the rose family trees or you have some learning material like this let me give uh, let me get a little bit better one uh, yeah salmon let's use a salmon okay salmon there's a, a five different Pacific salmon there's a five different uh, species like Chinooks and a coho uh, Chinooks and coho and the sakai and pink and chum something like this okay so there are five species and then chinook lifespan is like this and then they uh, go down to the ocean when they were like a uh when they were like about one or two years old from the river or something and pink goes down to uh, the ocean uh, right after they hatch well pretty much uh, when they were like about three to six months old and then they move down to so let's say I don't exactly know don't trust this word okay yeah because it has been quite a long time for me to uh, look through this uh, life cycle so I don't remember 
as you can see that my memory capacity is not that uh, high so I I don't store this information because this one was I said like about what three four years ago well anyway so that happened uh, they you learned something like that and then they their lifespan is like uh, about six to seven eight uh, seven years or cohort is like three to four years or something like that pink pink I know I remember it's a two-year fixed yeah so something like this information you learned then now well as you learn and as you let's say you are you need to uh, uh, go through the exam so uh, teachers or professors or whoever that they are uh, provided education now give you the uh, test to do with this then what you need to do you memorize them right this is how you build the knowledge and then with this uh, simple tasks now you, uh, the students or uh, the person who with the higher memory capacity will have a higher chance to approach I mean the uh, get most of the uh, answers correct right so they will get the higher grade now still in these times uh, education still has this uh, education sector still uses this uh, evaluation form and then you will see when you go to school then you will see this type of uh, exams are given okay but now the as I said this is changing okay this is changing now they're putting it saying that okay so now Chinook is uh, they, uh, they having six to seven year uh, route and then uh, if but they, when they give out for example migration route through the ocean and then they come back and then say uh, showing that okay this is a Chinook migration route this is a Koho migration route then you will be started thinking okay then okay why right and then the exam is saying that okay so you have Chinook migration route and you have Koho migration route here and then their lifespan is a six to seven year or three to four years then can you discuss what makes the differences between this uh, uh, Koho and Chinook migration route and the lifespan and then discuss about it this type of approach you will see as an essay or you will see in something like a, what a debate or something right discuss in connection with some uh, concepts that you already have then now the students performance go extreme two different sets okay this in this case memorizing the knowledge doesn't really have advances because you have to start thinking this comes in mathematics and physics and uh, science or of course that with the history and everywhere with saying that uh, they discuss about the World War II why why that World War II broke and then uh, what the what is the reason that uh, the some countries decided to go uh, to World War II go to war or something like that so when you have this type of uh, the uh, the essay writing or exams that you have to do then you have to start thinking very very hard to uh, come up with some of the ideas because the reason is because these type of uh, uh, the exams are asking for reasoning reasoning is there or the most simplest would be something like this so you have speed and you have uh, the distance so in a given time you are driving 60 kilometers per hour and then you drove like about 30 kilometers uh, now then figure out how long this will uh, to drive 30 kilometers with a 60 kilometer per hour how long will it take figure it out then what you need to do you need to start thinking that how to get the answers by using this formula this is a, a, this is a unit right so you have to come up with a formula not uh, simply memorizing doesn't really uh, give you the answer with this one you have to think how to change it 
how to uh, modify the uh, uh, how to combine them and how to divide them and how to uh, arrange them to find answers so kilometers to kilometers together and then the hours and hours uh, to figure out hours as and put it in as an x and then you figure out how to do it all right so these are the ones that the, where the education uh, uh, direction of the education is try to move because you need provide the thinking processes here you have to provide thinking processes simply memorizing six kilometers an hour okay so i i've been seeing this okay so now with this ones okay there is a kilometer per hour here and let me sh go with this so there is a kilometer per hour here and then let's put it in a kilometer per uh, hour but this is not known so put it in x then how to remove these kilometers each okay let's move this one to here and then uh, we will figure out uh, after this put it in just move this unit in here and and then we will figure out uh, how many kilometers it could go in uh, how many minutes we will take in given with the speed that is given or something like that if you memorize then you could apply it and use it but most uh, some of the times if it is complicated then what you need to do is you need to think about how to arrange them and to find answers what this means this means that this is uh, something like a uh, uh, organize organizing organizing based on what similarity similar and differences okay why this is uh, the the education is trying to move it here because this once you started organize similarity and differences then the, you can start thinking again toward to something that you didn't think about okay so basically try to uh, you can develop the uh, method with this new methods to approach to find the answers of differences and similarity okay so the uh, uh so i'm going to provide all these examples so i'm i'm not gonna i'm not providing the examples in here because these are actual study materials that uh we will use uh, and once the uh the once we uh, started actual moving into the actual training of your brain okay so these are the ones that the, where the experiment is going where the exper experience is going so you have to experiment you have to experience basically you do it then you figure out how to do then you realize and then you move on to the next stage and then you have a, a more difficult challenge and then you try it and you do it and then you realize and then this is a constant cycle of the uh, learning processes and experience is one of the best way to learn because you realize really the so let's say you wanted to move uh, you are uh, you are you moved to montreal and the montreal winter is very very cold like a minus 10 17 sometimes 25 27 uh even uh, below that right so now before you move to the Mon to move to montreal you didn't really realize how cold that could be minus 20 could be so you didn't really prepare but when you went there when you actually moved to montreal and now you realize because you actually experienced the cold temperature and then you realize yeah that was very very severe yeah now i know what is the meaning of having minus uh 20 degree celsius then now what do you do you prepare next right and so you have you experience then you realize what that 
means what is minus 20 so before you just simply know okay montreal temperature is minus uh, you could go below minus uh minus 20 even lower and then the summer is very hot so it, it goes up to like a 27 or something you knew but if you didn't experience you you didn't experience yourself then minus 20 doesn't really give you the concept how cold it is once you experience then now it you have an advantage because now you have built one more thing that what is what that means is that you can tell other people that okay minus 20 that's very very cold and people will ask how cold it is oh, okay it is cold because uh as uh, something like this yeah let's have what the, there is a water in a bottle and then if i put it in outside for like about uh, 30 minutes then you will see it is a uh, frozen then people go like oh yeah that's very cold okay that fast okay that's very cold so you can provide the concept to the other people you can describe the what you're based on your experience that how cold that minus 20 is easily okay so this is the different uh the differences now if you just to simply memorize montreal is temperature during the winter is uh minus 20 celsius is the average let's say this is average okay for the uh, uh december november uh, december january it's uh, february then you knew and then you memorize because you learned from the geography class right and then geography class and they used to dealing with the uh, weather and temperature and characteristic of the, uh, uh, the lens and everything right so you learned Montreal is minus 10 average but you didn't experience and then people ask that okay Montreal what is the uh, temperature in the winter like and then you can say okay minus 20 and then when it is uh, coming in uh, came on as an example and then uh, go choose which one is the correct uh, description for the uh, Montreal then minus 20 average for well December January February or something then you can go okay this is the right answer you can do it But when you were asked to discuss about the Montreal, then if you don't have experience, then you would have very difficult time to just to simply discuss. Because the only thing you know is from the textbook saying that Montreal is in location is in Quebec and uh, uh, it from uh, the and then uh, the there are uh mountains surrounded and then there is a uh, lakes and then you learned it right and then it is a uh, uh temperate uh, uh the environment and something like that you learned it but when you started try to write it then you will have very difficult time only thing you could do is you can grab what you learned and then you try to just simply put it in to as a in a writing then what happens everything will be similar to what you learned there is nothing new so basically you cannot create something new with this way okay and even if you remember about the characteristic of the uh, uh, montreal after like a month or two you forgot even i was i lived in montreal my family lived in montreal for two years and then now uh it has been about 10 years and then I don't if I go back to the Montreal probably I'll have well last time when I went to the Montreal I had a difficult time to find the uh, uh, the road to go where I used to go right so the so you uh, uh, the I forgot where it is right so this knowledge will be gone so when there is some students who have uh, ranked in the higher marks in during the class people generally think that, that they have knowledge but this is not the knowledge what they have is concepts okay 
concepts meaning that like uh, uh, this is one of the reasons that I use the uh, experience in the Montreal. Let's say you experienced the, that minus 20, the cold winter average. I don't know exactly minus 20 or not. I don't remember what is the uh, real average temperature. So don't trust this. Okay, this knowledge is not uh, accurate. So let's say I experienced the very very cold winter. Then now I know what is the meaning of minus 20, minus 30. All right. So now I can describe what is the minus 20. And then there are a lot of things to talk about. Let's say if you experience the interior Montreal area area, right? Then there will be a lot of things that you could talk about. In the uh, in early June, there will be a jazz festival, and there's a car racing happens, and uh, Montreal only uh, there is like a some sort of like a, a kind of like a synchronized moving uh, going on. I believe it that was like a May first or something that uh, all the rental contract is over so people just moving everybody moves so almost at the same time something like that happens so that was very new so i remember that right so those are the ones that what i call concepts okay so to have the concepts the to have the knowledge to conceptualize then the first thing that you can have is some experience but experience the first time experience this will stay in your brain very very long so for example my son had a, a pinch from the uh, crab a couple of weeks ago when we were crabbing and then he got really pinched by the red rock and then the some something like this memory then he will remember quite a long time why because it's a first time experience and first time experience uh, give, uh, give you, gives you something like a, some adventure like a feeling okay emotions so it's like a first time meaning that the, you adventured something new so there's a lot of things to talk about so what it means is that let's say you got uh, the pinched by the uh, crab and then you've experienced how uh, painful it is and then you had uh, some like uh, marks from the uh, uh, crab pinching and then you go like wow that was so painful and then I had this like a uh, uh, line that was a uh, 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 push uh, indentation because of the crab and then that has a uh, like an exact indentation with like a crab uh, the claws from the crabs and look like and lots of things the reason is because you experience it for the first time. That means it looks like uh, it works as an adventure. You are ad you adventured some new. Okay, so this is uh, what uh, the feeling is. It's because of that, you remember very long. And another way that you can uh, remember something uh, longer is something that your kind of like a thought was completely smashed down so the thought that the you had a prejudice or something like that so let's say okay uh the, you know when uh i go on to the uh crabbing okay when i uh, go to the crabbing uh they I, I believe this is what you believe right i believe crabs are moving uh in early morning let's say and so and constantly saying that Early morning, if you wanted to go crab, uh, the catch some crab, you have to go very early in the morning before the uh, around in the uh, the when sunrise sun started coming up, and then you crab, then you will have catching you can catch the uh, uh, crab, and then that's the best chance. So you had this idea, but one of the person came and then saying that, well, I don't think so. Uh, it's uh, more likely uh, the tide so I think today uh, in the middle of the day time like around noon then uh, there will be a lot of crack comes in and then I say no you're wrong I can I can bet you like a uh, 10 bucks 
that uh, you're wrong. And then it turned out actually the, in the noon, uh, in the, around the noon, then there were a lot of crabs comes out and then now you could catch crabs. And what happens? The beliefs you had is completely smashed down. Then you will remember longer. Because now the one that you had, the concept that you had, the beliefs that early morning crabs will come out is broken. Okay. So when the the when you are remembering more and then longer to memorize longer and more, then two ways you have to experience because this is the best way that you can get the uh, uh, store the information in there or your prejudice the concepts that you had previously is broken then you will remember that moment but sometimes you will feel like you uh, were humiliated and you feel like you were stupid because you didn't know that the uh, uh the how the crab is moving and then this person had a, a better idea because of that you feel like you are your brain function is kind of like not as much as this person and you will feel ashamed you will feel a little bit of like a, a angry and then you will sometimes uh hate these people because they are they were they were right and then you were wrong right so prejudice when you have these ideas are broken then you will learn but you will have to learn very in a very painful way this is a painful way because especially because you believed in something and someone else broke your belief so this is a painful way to learn now then, who are the people who can have, who has, uh, let's say this is a uh, school uh, grading uh, marks of the students and the people, students are having higher level, who are they? How could they do that, right? In the school, you probably heard about this. Don't approach in a right or wrong way. Correct or wrong or you got uh, 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 good or bad you probably heard in these way, uh, stories a lot the reason is because if you have good or bad and the reason is because you will have to learn very painful way because your this sometimes your idea that it is good will be attacked by someone else's idea and then this will be broken down okay so with that approach you're not going to be able to move to the top this is why because all the uh learning materials okay learning materials designed to bypass these emotions okay so you know, the, uh, when you're learning from the uh, school most of the uh, materials are observation based and uh, description based so you need to watch or feel and you need to describe and as a third person so don't put any emotions in there because emotion is involved in there then uh, when this emotion is broken then you will learn very painfully and then if you are getting angry then you are not gonna learn anything you will be kicked out uh, you uh, well you will have will be forcing yourself to move out of that school or that society right so what that means is that uh, you have to uh, say if you have some concepts that is uh, turning into the uh, beliefs then the study will be very difficult okay then who to go up to the top of the uh, uh, grade pyramid this is a grading system, let's say, grading, right? And then to move to the top of the pyramid. What you need to do is you need to build concepts without emotions, good or bad. That's where all these 
learning materials from the school is coming from. Mathematics, there's no emotions. When you achieve, when you solve problems, then yes, you will be happy. But that the while you are uh, solving the problem and then solving the uh, uh, some try to find out the uh, the way to solve the problem, then you have to use your brain instead of like a happy or good, uh, uh, happy or sad. You constantly uh, push your brain to think, right? If you are uh, looking at the uh, what the history even. Right? You will feel sometimes that the emotionally that uh, this is a sad story or something like that. But when you going into the uh, history and analyzing why is this happening and uh, what is the relationship and uh, why these uh, the uh, people uh, moved from here to uh, something locations to find those uh, connections, you have to get out of the emotions. You have to follow the logical connections. So. The students you see who has higher grade has built the, they had brain power, brain function that they can build concepts to removing emotions, mostly concepts and connect concepts and then store them. Why? Because this is a way to increase the memory capacity. This memory is not simply looking at it and remembering and then uh, the uh, the uh, use it but when it comes into the uh, exams these are the concepts so as you build the concepts then what will happen is that you can make a connections of the concepts okay so for example let's say a uh, tropical area uh, with uh, is uh, 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 and the uh, ocean is humid, moist, and temperature is uh, uh, the moist and uh, the uh, high temperature, right? Then, if you learn this from the uh, uh, textbook, then you have to memorize it. But if you learn from the even from the earth, and you see that equator area, the most sunlight is uh, the heating the most of the sunlight heating local uh, small locations and because of that temperature is high and when temperature is high what happens then uh, the water evaporates because water evaporates now land is moist, humidity goes up or something like that. If you make the connections among the concepts this is what I call concept building. Then later on, if even if you don't, you forgot what uh, what is the terminology of the uh, these things. But when it comes to the uh, actual geographical characteristic, and then you started thinking, okay, yeah, equator area, yep, that the uh, sunlight is uh, the heating. Uh, the very sunlight is uh, hitting the localized area because of that temperature is high and what happens is the temperature high okay uh, then water evaporate and when water evaporates then what happens to the water the evaporated water turns into the cloud oh okay then cloud what will happen to the cloud and when it move uh, it moves to the uh, uh, by the wind okay it moves to the by the wind then where the wind is coming from how the wind is generated so if you constantly connect these concepts and build concepts connect concepts each so let's say there is a, 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 a another field that you never experience so what you do is you start the building concept and as you connect each uh, something new different then this is a way you increase your brain storage of your brain with this concept and one of the powerful uh, function of the concept of uh, the power power uh, the power that concept has is even if you don't remember what happened here because you forgot okay let me show you with as a uh, three-dimensional spider web so imagine picture this as a three-dimensional spider web and then you had a concepts built and you didn't remember before and then you forgot but when one light comes up let's say this one it lights up then what happens 
everything connected will be followed and then remembered. Then, in when you take the exam, you don't have to remember. If you, by reading the, the test, the questions, reading the uh, problems, you find the link and connect it and then everything comes back. Then as soon as you realize what this question is asking about, then you can find the answer easily. This is why the students who have a higher grade, they can stay in higher uh, ranked area all the time and pretty much they can stay in there. If you rely on the mem uh, memory, then what happens? Sometimes if you study, then you go, uh, your grade will increase. If you don't study, your grade will go down, up and down. But if once you learn how to conceptualize it, then your grade goes up gradually, but you will stay in higher ranked area all the time. Okay. Okay. Since it's already 5.14, uh, I'm going to just wrap it up here. And then I'm going to continue from uh, to next week. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to summarize it a little bit easier and a clearer way. And then I'm going to uh, move on to the uh, uh, how to study and then uh, what to do with the concept building and connecting concepts. Okay, I'm going to provide more uh, the actual methodology so that you can get ready. And then after that, we will I will bring the uh, materials for you to learn, and then uh, we can use it. And I will show you how to uh, use those materials. Okay, so you can uh type any questions right now if you have any otherwise i will end in there okay so you have to think about it in this way uh before uh wait while waiting the uh, uh questions if you in in the past if your grade was going up if you study because if you study and memorize then you your grade should go up right and then if you don't study then going down if you are in the middle, then you relied on your study and in terms of the uh, uh, knowledge, memory, memory brain, memory part of the brain. Okay, so you have to turn that into conceptualization. Uh, you have to turn your study method into uh, by using a brain that uh, conceptualizing the uh, knowledge. Okay, so I'm going to uh, go uh, continue next week about this story since there is no questions i'll end it here for this week and i'll meet you next week okay yeah bye see you next week